Howdy, y'all. As y'all know, I mow my yard with a real mower. And, uh, mostly it works all right. Except for that little grass right here. <laughs> Silly cat. It's very, uh, very thick stuff. It's hard to cut with that mower. Binds up the blades and all that stuff, you know. So I, uh, got to looking at Walmart to see if they had any sort of spray that would get rid of that grass. And I found lots of sprays, but, uh, every single one of them said, you know, oh, it gets rid of dandelion, gets rid of chickweed, gets rid of plantain, and a host of other ones. And it's just like, <laughs> Doggone it, that's the stuff I want to keep in my yard. <laughs> For example, this plantain that I, uh, that I mentioned. If I can show you this, if this cat will stay out of the way long enough for me to show you this. That. Yes, gray. <laughs> Say hi for the cameras, gray. That is plantain. And the thing about plantain, it's kind of an antibiotic. I've heard that uh, that cattle ranchers will purposely grow it in their in their pasture so that uh, <clears throat> for the antibiotic properties. Personally speaking, from experience, I can tell you that it is one hell of a pain reliever if you ever get stung by a wasp. I was working on around the house back in Kansas. A couple years ago, and one of them angry little red wasps came out of nowhere and stung me smack in the side of my head. Good God, it hurt. Once I got through to my wife what it, what had happened, she ran out the yard and grabbed some plantain and mashed it up and I put the wadded up leaves against the sting and uh, you could feel the pain going away instantly. And uh, tell you what, that never swelled nothing. You couldn't even see. After about five minutes you couldn't see where the thing had stung me, nothing. Couldn't believe it. So. I guess I won't be buying any of them sprays. <laughs> Hope you all are well. And I'll see you next time. Bye.